Hi guys! So, I know that I say that I collect comic books and stuff, but you never really see my reaction or, you know, my opinions on any of these comic books, and I'm thinking maybe you might want to, or, you know, maybe it's about time I get into my comic book lovingness. I don't really know how to describe it a little more on this channel. Now, there's a series that I've been reading that I've actually... I've stuck with it, even though I have 1 through 8, which I will show you, but I've only read, I think, to the third one, but because I've been busy and stuff, I just haven't gotten around to reading them all, to, uh, but uh, like, you know, on my weekly trips to comic books, to my com favorite comic book store, I continually, like, buy these comic books. Because I know I will want to finish them. I want, I want to keep up with them. And I was very excited at first when I heard about this comic book coming out. That I like marked it in my calendar that this is the day that the first one comes out. And like when I, and then I went into the comic book store and I actually looked for this one specifically and I bought it. But it along with like a, two other ones. Now the series I'm talking about are DC's bombshells. DC Comics bombshells. And it's, I don't know, I guess it kind of appeals to the little bit inside me that's kind of like a feminist. I don't really know. They're all female heroes and that's part that I really like because you never really get like just, just females. Even when it's a female superhero comic, like Wonder Woman or something like that, there's always a male, like, hero that kind of tags along at least, or something like that. So, these ones are specifically just females. You have Batwoman, you got Supergirl, Stargirl, you got Wonder Woman. There's, there's plenty in here. Now, I've told you that I have all eight so far. I I think maybe nine is coming out. If I've missed it, I'm sorry, but I've also been trying to catch up with other uh, comic books as well, and I have a budget now, and I can't spend so much money. So sad. But let's see, so these ones are the ones that I've read so far. On uh, number one, and I'll get into how I feel about them right now. And number two, and number three. Starting with number one, it's, it's exciting and stuff. It's it's based in like World War Two era type things, but you know there's war and you know obviously it's World War Two, and there's yeah it's like it shows like how women were like you know in America they kind of took men's roles because they were over fighting, but maybe it's not enough for some women like just playing baseball or something like that but even though the first issue was pretty cool and really awesome and I loved it it's kind of slow for me it's like, even there were fights and it's just that like it connects with it starts with like Batwoman and it goes with Wonder Woman and it has uh, Star Girl, Star Girl and Supergirl but it doesn't like have them all together so it splits up so like it's kind of slow in that way where it has a little bit it starts with like that one and has like a little bit of that and you're like oh cool and you want to know more and then it goes over to uh, I think goes to Wonder Woman next and then it goes to Supergirl and Stargirl and, like that and everything like that and I'm just like all I want them to just I want them all to be together and it only gets a little more cluttered from there like, they go on and then they add another hero or another villain or something like that. All women. But it's just, like, it's a lot to try to keep track of. So that's why I've also kind of been saving them. Not just because I don't have the time, but also it might be easier to read them all at once to kind of get into the story. So that's what I'm kind of hoping will happen. My mom's kind of loud right now. I'm sorry. So I'm going to let you know how I feel about them when I finally read all of them later. And hopefully I will feel like I didn't waste all my money. Okay, bye.